Coucou, coucou tout le monde. On se retrouve pour la suite de Gridfall. Est-ce que vous êtes prêts Bien installé. Hmm oh non. I'm not here to kill you. Tell me then, what is your intended purpose? We were sent to look for you. Apologies, but allow me to express my doubts. After this little swim, you'd always try to pull the trigger. Who sent you to find me? We were not looking for you in particular, but the entire expedition. It was Governor Burham who asked us to find you. He is worried about you. You haven't been reporting. You should have said that straight away. I must admit, I was hoping for a rescue. Of a different nature. Do you have a name? De Sarde. I'm from the congregation. Hmm, the new governor's cousin. Who wears an islander face. I've heard stories about you. And them? Captain Vasco, though I realize I am quite far from the sea. I am Siora, daughter of Vladmid, from the people that your own capture and torture. I've never taken anyone. On the contrary, we had hoped to exchange our knowledge with your own. This is a rather odd group. I am Afra, a scholar from the Bridge Alliance. It is rather rare to find me rolling in the marshes. I study the fauna and flora of this isle. I should imagine you have many questions. We saw the site where you were attacked. What exactly happened? We were taken by surprise. One moment everything was calm, and the next a war party of natives fell upon us. I had an uneasy feeling and kept myself apart, but when I heard my fellow scholars' shouts, I rushed over. Most of my companions are incapable of defending themselves, and we didn't have guards to protect us. One of them tried to flee, but they brought him down. We decided to give ourselves up to avoid a massacre. What has happened since the attack? How long have you been in these marshes? We were taken prisoner and were brought to a village nearby. I was able to escape while the others were taken to a house that they use as a prison. I wanted to join the Bridge Alliance frontier post not far from here, but I wasn't able. So I doubled back to keep watch of the village from a distance. I have been hoping to find a way to free my companions. Without any success so far. Have you made progress in your search for a cure? Hmm. We were studying some quite remarkable plants when we were attacked. The region is rife in unknown and novel species. Some seem incredibly promising. The local shamans know all these plants, and they use them in their remedies. If only we had been able to converse with them rather than getting ourselves captured. Could you lead us to the village where your colleagues are being held prisoner? Certainly. We are, oh, so very close. And I fully intend to participate in this rescue. I'm not one to sit around and twiddle thumbs. This is where the natives took your colleagues? Yes, it is here. These ruins are being used as a camp by the native raiders. There are so many of them. Mm. Better to remain discreet. I have spied on the camp and discovered where my colleagues are being held. They are being kept in the old walls of the main ruin. Okay. Uh, Est-ce qu'on peut les parler un petit peu? Non, même pas. D'accord. I would rather avoid unwarranted deaths. We should wait until nightfall and look around the camp to find a more discreet way to get inside. Indeed, it would be wiser than trying to get in through the gate. Oh, il y a des trucs ici. Lettre interrompue au professeur Serafedine. J'étais en train de revenir vers vous avec les vivres que vous m'aviez demandé de réunir pour l'expédition, lorsque j'ai aperçu une des créatures dont vous m'aviez parlé. 
Cet énorme bête avait quelque chose d'un cerf, mais marchait sur deux pattes et se dressait plus haut que les arbres. Hélas, elle m'a vu aussi et m'a chargé. J'ai tenté de me défendre avec mon épée, mais elle n'a fait que rebondir sur une carapace qui semble être aussi solide que nos meilleures armures. J'ai finalement réussi à fuir. Mais je saigne abondamment, et je n'ai maintenant plus la force de vous rejoindre. J'espère que quelqu'un me trouvera et vous transmettra cette lettre. Dites à ma femme que je l'aime. C'est triste. Oh. Oh. Et regardez. On va avoir un autre point de compétence. Oh, y'a... Yeah. C'est magnifique. Green blood, my friend. Do you need something? Sa relation avec Sieglinde. Sieglinde appears to know you well and to have a lot of respect for you. We fought together. That brings people closer. You mm. know that. But I can assure you that's all there is to it. Actually, up until now, I fought by your side more often than I have hers. Lui demander s'il pense nous connaître ou lui dire qu'il est arrivé malgré tout à nous surprendre. On va lui faire un compliment. La première question, j'ai l'impression. Je sais pas s'il peut mal le prendre. Yet you still manage to surprise me. I certainly hope so. Just as you surprise me often. Finding pleasure in discovering new aspects of one another's personality is half the fun of a relationship. Isn't it? Anything else? C'est vrai. I must leave you. Euh, je ne sais plus. Hein, mémoire de poisson, donc euh... We're about to lock my companions inside a cell. We're going to need a key. Please, on all Manawi, let's try to avoid the fight. OK. Regardez-nous. On est tous en position fécale. Venez les gars, il va vous voir et vous faites quoi Il faut quoi oh. Je crois que les clés sont là. Elles vont être là les clés. Ouais. On a les clés. On peut sortir. Pour Boyard. Oh, j'ai trouvé la, la chemin. Je crois c'est. Afra, is that you? Come quickly. We don't have much time. Thank you for your help. Do not thank me yet. We are still in a shipload of danger. Mais non, mais non. Vous pouvez me faire ça, moi. Bon, vous êtes tous en position fécale, c'est parfait. Oui, on voit la, la carte. On y va. Euh... Okay, mais qu'est-ce qu'ils font Ils font tout le tour. Alors le gars devrait être quelque... Ah 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 courez, 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 je vous jure, courez, les gars, courez, plus vite, sur vos petites pattes accroupies. Mais là, euh, il vous voit grave, hein. Je suis dans l'herbe, je suis une touffe d'herbe, monsieur. Regardez. Va-t'en, y'a rien, là, y'a rien Non mais ils sont vraiment cons hein. Alors là ils sont vraiment cons hein. Oh non Mais non Trakarid, merci. You have defeated us. Spare us our lives. If you spare them, they will only hunt us down until we are all dead. No, you have our word. We have been bested. We will let you move on in peace. How can we trust you? You attacked our camp when we were not even armed. They are savages. They had us caged like beasts. We only sought to learn where you have caged our people. 
spared their lives. I beg you. Already, they were already. fighting to save the lives of those that have disappeared. On va les épargner. Very well. Leave, and I hope you keep your word. Thank you, Honor Manawi. I have spoken, and I will honor my words. Kwa awalam seg. Bon. We are no longer in danger. Mm. Thank you for your help, Dasade. I must admit, the reasons for my being here are not entirely selfless. Your research to find a remedy against the Malakor could save many lives in our cities as well. You speak like a true woman of science. Cut to the point. Then you'll be thrilled. Your heroic efforts to save us from those savages could help. We've made a discovery. Is that right? In that case, we need to speak with Governor Burham immediately. Very well. I'll accompany you. <sighs> Let's be off. Lady de Sade, and our expedition. I thank you sincerely for having brought them back, Your Excellency. You are a providential woman. <laughs> Please, sir. It was you who convinced me and my cousin of the capital importance of their research. A research that has borne fruit, Your Excellency. Truly? This is excellent news. You have found a plant with sufficient properties? Uh, not exactly. Know that during our captivity, an island woman visited the camp. The natives called her Tiena Hak Kadactus and treated her with utmost reverence. I heard them talk about a remedy, a universal remedy, it seemed, that she had concocted. How's that? Liamatra, I did nice yacht them. Huh. Well, I grasped the basic of the local tongue and I am certain to have heard the word yag. Remedy. Surprising. But the Tiernahach is very powerful and very wise. It is possible that she did craft such a remedy. Voilà. Est-ce que je peux parler à Afra? Desade, I'd like to discuss something with you. I'm okay. listening. My colleagues are only interested in the physiology of the islanders and consider everything else to be superstitions. However, if we want to understand how they are transforming, we need to take a look at their culture. The potions they drink, the dyes they use, are surely the source of their physical changes. Why not talk about it with Siora? It seems to me that she would be the best one to help you. Siora is very suspicious of me. She will never betray the secrets of the Donegada. But I was told about a place of ritual called Kurganau, decorated with carvings and offerings. By studying them, I hope to better understand what is possibly the greatest mystery of this century. But they call it a dangerous place, and I cannot go alone. Will you mm. accompany me? Bien sûr. Very well. Understanding these transformations will surely be useful. Thank you, Desade. I knew I could count on you. Let's go. Okay. Est-ce que je peux la connaître un petit Desardé, peu mieux? Can I do anything for you? Si elle pointe souvent son arme sur les gens. Do you often hold strangers at gunpoint? Only when I'm being tracked. What about you? Do you often track young ladies? Lui répondre que son charme nous a guidés, n'importe quoi. Lui dire que son journal donnait envie de la retrouver. Your journal was surprisingly thorough, and your observations very pertinent. How could one not want to find someone so brilliant? Your compliment goes straight to my heart, I mean it. But I regret oh. to inform you that your friendship appeals to me more than your appearance. Anything else? Je n'étais pas en train de la draguer, je crois qu'il y a gros malentendu là, mais énorme. Sa ville d'origine. Where do you come from, Afra? From Alima near Al Saad. It is but a small town, but there is a particularly renowned observatory there. My parents wanted me to become an astronomer, but I chose the earth over the sky. I was always more intrigued by life rather than distant stars. Plants and animals fascinated me as a child. For this reason, mm. I left Alima quite early to study in the capital, and I seldom returned. When did you arrive on the island? A little more than two years ago. My master, Dr. Rassili, suggested that I should follow him to Tirfredi. He needed help cataloguing all the unknown plants and animals. How could I decline such an offer? There's so much to discover here. Do you miss the continent? Your city? Your family, perhaps? No. When I arrived on this island, I immediately knew that it was where I was supposed to be. I must leave you. 
What an astounding place. This must be the village of Eden that the Mother Cardinal told us about. All that's left to do is find Father Eustinius. Welcome to Eden, the lighthouse of faith, harmony, and civilization in these wild lands. Thank you. De Sade, I am the legate of the merchant congregation. And I am Father Eustinius. Delighted. And what may I do for you? L'interroger sur les tablettes volées. Mais moi, je suis toujours en colère si on me vole mes tablettes de chocolat, donc je peux comprendre la frustration. The Mother Cardinal has asked me to investigate the theft of these tablets you discovered. That's excellent news. The loss of the tablets is a catastrophe. We mm. have to find them at all costs. If you want to learn more about these tablets, you should go ask Sister Eugenia. She supervises the theologians who discovered them and were also guarding them. You should find her a bit further in the village with her colleagues. Who are the suspects of this theft? The heretical brutes of the village of Vedlug most likely had a hand in this. They must have wanted to please the demons they worship by stealing the holy word from us. How could they have learned of the tablet's existence? Uh, perhaps the demons are giving them this power. Unless one of the natives living in the village innocently mentioned them. They are so naive. Either way, I am certain that the heretics are involved in this matter. I must leave you. Goodbye. May the enlightened always keep you in their divine blessing. I never thought I'd see natives living like this, side by side with the settlers. I doubt that things happened as harmoniously as they'd like us to believe. It all seems a bit too convenient. If we find out some information about the history of Eden, maybe we'll change our view on things. The theft of the relic is probably not a coincidence. Father. I'm glad to see you, my child. What can I do for you? Oh, on va l'interroger sur la création du village d'Eden. Tell me about how you created this village. We did not create it from the ground up. It was built around an existing native village. <gasps> the islanders called it Vigsenegad, which translates to the village of the old sage. Huh. We saw it as a sign. The natives had probably chosen this name in memory of Saint Matthias. And everything here fit the description of Saint Lucius. The discovery of the tablets proved us right. So, we decided to rebuild our Eden here. In the spirit of peace and harmony which is described in the scriptures. La mixité du po de population du village. Why share this village with the natives? To replicate and resume the work of our founder, of course. If he came here and managed to convert the natives, then it is our duty to do the same thing. By living side by side with them, it is much easier for us to pass on our teachings. La relation avec les natives du village. How well do you get along with the natives who live here? Uh, very well, of course. Especially since those who opposed our presence left. Left? To go where? Oh, to other villages, I imagine. Does it even matter? Those who stayed are on the path of enlightenment. Some of their legends must have been about Saint Matthias. That helped to convince them. Leur relation avec les villages natifs voisins. And how well have neighboring villagers welcomed you? With some reluctance, to be perfectly honest. So, we sent them missionaries. There are still frequent conflicts with the village of Vedluk. A highly violent village of heretics. But the other villages, the more peaceful ones, are slowly starting to listen to the sacred word. There is something strange here. It often takes time for the people of the continent to get used to our paradise. But I am sure you will come to appreciate it. I must leave you. Goodbye. May the enlightened always keep you in their divine blessing. Sir Eugenia. Hello. The Mother Cardinal asked me to help you find the tablets that were stolen. Can I ask you some questions? Of course. But hurry, I have a lot to do. Oh la la. L'interroger sur les tablettes volées. I talked to Father Eustinius. He told me that you were supervising the theologians here. Indeed. It is under my supervision that the research on Saint Matthias is conducted. Mm, on lui demandait qui elle soupçonne. Whom do you suspect of being the thief? Oh, alas, I'm afraid there are many suspects. These mm -hmm. tablets are priceless relics. Some settlers may have fallen prey to the lure of profit. 
The heretical natives of Vedlug may have wanted to take them away from us, or it could have been vengeance by those who had to leave the village. Mm. Where were the tablets the night they were stolen? We were keeping them in one of the village's shacks. We intended to bring them to San Mateus later, but first we wanted to examine them in order to obtain as much information as possible. You can go and take a look in the shack if you want to, but I couldn't find any traces of forced entry. I imagine that someone was keeping watch over them. Of course, we took turns guarding the shack. But some of us can't have taken the task that seriously. If I remember correctly, it was Brother Virgil who was guarding them that night. Well, thank you for these pieces of information. Mm. I am the one who should be thanking you. Especially if you manage to retrieve the tablets for us. The Mother Cardinal told me that this village had been developed on the basis of St. Lucius's writings. Are you one of the theologians who helped in its creation? Yes. I was sent here to confirm that this place is indeed the one described in the writings, and then I stayed. What was the reaction of the natives when you arrived here? Most of them were not in favor of us living amongst them. They were afraid we might chase them out of their own village. And there were even more protests once we started talking about searching for traces of Saint Matthias. I suppose they thought we would destroy all of their raised stones and other places of superstition. Were there any confrontations with the natives? Yes. The warriors of the village attacked us. The Ordo Luminous actually had to intervene. The Inquisition managed to make them run away. The islanders tried to attack again with the support of Vedlug. But we stood our ground. And when Lur, the chief of the village, finally accepted our presence, things calmed down. Thank you. This information will certainly prove to be useful. Thank you. I will let you work. Parlez à Frère Fidelis. À lui, pardon. If you are saying that these tablets bear writings from the very hand of our holy founder, then we must find them. Without them, all our research to trace the life of Saint Matthias on this island is doomed to failure. If these savages have stolen them, we will have to take them back, by force if necessary. Do you have any ideas about who stole the tablet? Some of the village savages helped us during the search. Perhaps they are behind all of this. There was a particular woman who seemed to want us to be there. I don't remember her name, though. Hmm. Greetings. Desade. I'm handling the investigation into the theft of the tablets. Sister Eugenia told me to talk to you. I'm Brother Virgil. What would you like to know? According to your colleague, you were the one in charge of guarding the tablets on the night of the theft. Is that right? Indeed. What can you tell me about that night? Did you hear or see anything? No, nothing in particular. The night was quiet, and then the morning after, we saw they were gone. Mm. Someone had to enter the shack to steal the tablets. How did that happen? I have no idea. The door was closed in the morning, and the lock was intact. Do you suspect anyone in particular? Not really. What I can tell you for sure is it is not one of us. Well, mm. Sister Eugenia did tell me that the tablets were priceless. Of course. But our motivation is not the lure of profit. All that matters to us is their value as proof, not the money we could make out of them. Do you think the culprit could be a native? Well, since none of us did it, it seems obvious. There aren't many other settlers around here. And the natives knew of the existence of these tablets before we found them. They were attached to them too, in their own way. They are the ones who led you to them. Well, we conducted the research, but they helped us find where they were hidden. Some inhabitants of the village are still giving us a hand with our work. Well, thank you. I will investigate where the theft took place. As you wish. But you won't find anything there. And why does it matter, anyway? There were witnesses to the discovery of these tablets. We have all the proof we need. And that's all that matters. What do you mean? 
Now we can prove Saint Matthias lived here. Our actions on this island are justified. To keep rummaging the way Sister Eugenia does will only create more tensions with the natives. <laughs> I was not expecting a theologian to say such things. Mm. Have you been in Eden for a long time? Two months, approximately. Back then, there were still some pagan natives in the village. I joined Sister Eugenia's team with some of my colleagues, so we could give them a fresh outlook on things. We arrived straight from Teleme, hoping to study some new texts. But once we were here, I understood that my real mission was with the islanders. We must bring the light to this island. You talked about a mission with the natives. What did you mean by that? I may be under the command of Sister Eugenia here, but my superior is Bishop Domitius. Our mission is to banish pagan cults and convert the entire population to the light. The island belongs to Saint Matthias, and therefore to Teleme, since the God of Light offered it to our founder. You have a very unique way of seeing things. I doubt everyone accepts it. <laughs> How are your relations with the natives? When I arrived, we were still trying to obtain information from them about Saint Matthias. But they were very reluctant to give us any answers. We were also trying to educate them. Our attempts eventually made some of the inhabitants of the village react badly. Most stubborn against our teachings, the warriors and the marked. The ones the natives call the Onomanawi. They eventually left, and it has proved nothing but a blessing for us. I would like to go back to work now, if you don't mind. Of course. I will leave you to your work. Goodbye. Il y a des documents importants. Hmm. There's only one entrance and the door shows no evidence of a break-in. Brother Virgil can't have cared less about these relics. He must have fallen asleep on duty. And then someone must have just stolen the keys from him. It's very likely that that's what happened, but someone must have informed them. It can't be a coincidence that they decided to steal it during the watch of the only neglectful guard. So, we have to find their accomplice, the one that informed them, and who must be in the village. We know that this theft could be an act of vengeance by the natives who were forced to leave here. They must still have allies in the village. Family or friends. We should go talk to the chief of the natives. He will certainly know who's close to the exiles, and enough about the researchers to inform them. Hello. I am Ler, the village leader. Well, I was the leader of this village. Hello. Mm. De Sarde. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. There are Onol Manawi among the Logaid Blau. I did not know that. What do you want from me? I have heard a lot of things about this village of Eden, but I'd like to hear your version. Hmm. I'm not sure Roy have the answers to all of your questions, but I'll try. Tell me about the arrival of the people of Teleme and how you received them. The priests were roaming around the village. They were saying that it was the place where their saint had lived. They were asking questions, talking about the Lloyd and all these things. One morning, they were building houses next to ours. And we had new neighbors. The priests told me that they had managed to convert you. How did that happen? As long as we refused to listen to them, they were violent, and they destroyed some of our sanctuaries. So we let them talk. And now that they think that we love their god, they leave us alone. Some of the things they say are beautiful, and their magic is impressive. But we do not forget our spirits. 
Mm. One of the theologians told me that you had helped them in their research. They wanted to find tracks of the old sage, of the one they call Saint Matthäus, and they were rummaging through everything. Our Donegad did not want to tell them anything, because the old sage is sacred here. But since they violently interrogated everyone, I thought it wise to guide them to the place where the stones were. What happened to your warriors? Why did they have to leave the village? They did not accept the presence of the priests and their questions. They tried to retake the village. They even asked Derdra, the chief of Vedlug, for her help. So, the priests called this soul Lassa, the Burning Sons, and they killed many of them. Oi asked for peace, and the others left us. They wanted to join Vedlug. Perhaps they have done so. Aren't you angry after all that happened? No. I mourn those who died, of course. And the Vorstirent. But this village may be our opportunity. Your opportunity for what? For the Renaigse to understand who we are. Not savages, nor monsters, but men. Perhaps wiser than they are. I think I know who stole the tablets. Really? I believe those who were exiled from your village seek vengeance because the missionaries forced them to leave. They must have taken the tablets with the help of someone else who stayed here. You may be right, but you may also be wrong. You do well to tell me what you know. Once the priests have reached the same conclusions as I have, how do you think they will interrogate you? You're probably right. The Inquisitors would come back, and my people would suffer. I do not want to break the peace that I did all I could to make. I think the name of the woman you are looking for is Vindwal. She helps the priests who seek the old sage. If she's helping the priests, why would she betray them now? Her son is one of the warriors who had to leave the village. He is filled with anger and fury. If you go talk to her, please do not hurt her. She is but a mother who acted according to her son's wishes. I have no intention of hurting her. But things may not be so simple when it comes to her son. I have to go. Like so many others. I knew that the story would be more complex than we'd been told. It was predictable. These priests feed off myths all day long. They are completely disconnected from reality. Even though it seems to me that some of them have a far more factual and political outlook on things. Either way, the resentment here is strong enough for a theft to occur. <sighs> Greetings. Are you Vindwal? Bert here, Tumad. Yes, that is me. What do you want? What can you tell me about Lair, your former leader? He is a man of peace. Some people dislike him, not me. Everything he did, he did to save the village. But I think the Moind Shakers made him forget what we are. He almost speaks like them now. Listen, I know you helped the Exiles to steal the tablets of St. Matthias. No, this is not true. It wasn't me. There's no point in denying it. I know you did it for your son who had to leave the village. If you know that, then you know that I don't have the tablets. So what do you want from me? The only means of alleviating the situation with Teleme is to give the priests their tablets back. So if you do not want your son to suffer their wrath, it would be best if I could retrieve them discreetly. Uh, Bran and the rest of the Exiles are hiding in the woods, beyond the Stone Circle. If you want to take the tablets away from them without being seen, do not take the part on the left. It is riddled with traps. And please, do not hurt my son. C'est pas possible, c'est là. 
Oh, c'est super bien caché. C'est vraiment super réaliste. The exiles oh, must be oh. near. Don't worry, we'll be discreet. And if I remember correctly, we should avoid the path on the left. Ouais, mais il y a des couleurs, c'est trop joli. Oh, comment on fait pour le désactiver Je peux pas Bon, et eh bien on s'en va. On s'en va, j'ai pas envie qu'on meure. Tant pis. Do it. What are you doing here I'm not here to fight you. But I must retrieve the tablets of Saint Matthias. What How do you know we have them And how Not for thee. We will not give them back. We lost our homes and families, so the priests lose their sacred stones. I know that you are seeking vengeance, but the priests will not be the only ones to suffer the consequences of your actions. Your mother helped you, and once they find out about it, she will pay the price in your place. Is that what you want? No. She only told us which night we could come. They have no right to punish her for this. I doubt the Ordo Luminous will care. They will need someone to take the blame, and she's the obvious choice. Very well. Take the stones and leave. All that's left to do is to rejoin the Donea Exregal. Ok, on va aller les rendre. What are you doing here? Oh, I was worried for my son. Oh, he wanted to make sure that everything was fine. Don't worry, all is well. I managed to convince him to give me the tablets. Ad Loredar. Oh, he did not believe my son to be so reasonable. You are giving me hope. Oh, he will go see him and tell him to find another clan. A place to welcome him. Mm. I retrieved your relics. Thank you. Thank you immensely. Thanks to them, we will be able to continue our research on Saint Matthias. I am curious to know who is responsible for this theft. The culprit must be brought to justice. I do not want to point the finger at anyone. You have your relics back, and that's the only thing that matters. Your indulgence honors you. But how can we be certain that these thieves will not strike again if they are not punished? All of this is nothing but more proof that Teleme is a nation of dreamers. They look for a thief when all they had to do was choose a guard who wouldn't fall asleep. In any case, you would do well to keep a better watch on your discoveries in the future. You should also pay more attention to those who share this village with you. This theft would never have happened had you truly been in harmony with the natives. But that is precisely what we desire more than anything. Oh, we may have been a bit clumsy in the beginning, but... We'll make sure to improve things in the future. You really were a great help. I would be most grateful if you agreed to continue helping us. I might come back at some point, but alas, I am very busy. Naturally. Either way, we are certainly capable of continuing our research without you. Actually, I must go back to my work. Our next expedition must depart as soon as possible. Your next expedition? Our brave researchers must continue to follow the tracks of our founder on this island. In the meantime, here, take this as a token of gratitude for the help you gave us. Thank you. I hope your expedition will be a success. Oh, there you are, Your Excellency. The Enlightened has heard my prayers. What's going on? Where are the others? After deciphering the content of the tablets, they went north to continue their research in some swamps. Uh, but they must have encountered problems. Brother Fidelis came back here, and he was in a dreadful state. He most likely came to seek help, but he fainted. It's impossible for us to know what happened to them. I am not a doctor, but I may be able to examine him. Oh, please do. Any help would be appreciated. We've done our best, but our magic has proved inefficient. And the healer we sent for will certainly arrive too late from San Mateus. Okay. This man is burning up with fever. 
And he bears several bite marks and traces of blows. The flesh is black and blue around the bites. He was bitten by a venomous creature. What he needs is an antidote. Have you tried giving him any antipoison? Of course, but to no avail. And what if it were a hex cast by the heretics? <sighs> no matter what happens, you always suspect them. More of these idiotic superstitions. If the antipoisons aren't working, it's because they're not suitable for this venom. Fidelis was in the swamp. Local healers will surely know how to make the right antidote. We could ask Lair. He will direct us to someone who understands remedies. On Almanawi, you've come back to see old Lair. I heard that you managed to retrieve the tablets. Did Vindwal tell you? Yes, and I feel more at peace, knowing that our brothers are alive, and that they will be able to join another clan. And you proved me right. Peace with the Renaixe is possible. I need your advice. You may already know that one of the researchers came back wounded from the expedition. I heard about it. He has all the symptoms of a poisoning, but the antipoisons we gave him had no effect. He must have been bitten by a creature of the swamp, and we're looking for a healer who would know of a suitable antidote. So, you came to see me. Interesting. Our neighbors did not think for one moment that we could be helpful. Alas, our Donegad is one of the exoils. But Vindwal knows plants well. She will know. Thank you. I will go see her. I hope she agrees to help us. I have to go. Like so many others. Here you are again. What do you want? I have come to ask for your help. Lair told me you know about remedies. I do know a few of them. I have learned about plants. I used to want to become a Donegad. One of the researchers came back wounded from the expedition. Apparently he was bitten by a creature of the swamp. And now he has the Lawolan fever. We have a good knowledge about this affliction. He will die if he does not receive proper treatment. Do you know which antidote should be given to him? Yes. These priests are idiots. They could have asked for our help, but they treat us like children. You, you are different, and you have allowed my son to join a new clan. So, I will give you the potion to cure the priest. Wait a moment. Make him drink this remedy and he'll get better. Thank you, Vindwal. Where am I? You're in Eden. You are safe. I... Well, was I unconscious for a long time? The, the other members of the expedition, they are in danger. The swamp is so hostile. We weren't prepared for it. S some of our people have d disappeared. What caused these wounds? A nightmarish creature. The swamp is full of them. A colleague and I had left to fetch some help when we were attacked. I managed to run away. But I don't know what happened to him. As for those who were at the camp, you must go help them. Show me the location of your colleagues on the map. I will join them. There. Please, hurry. Thank you. You should rest now. Another baby pie. Thank you for curing Brother Fidelis, Your Excellency. May the Enlightened bless you. You should rather thank Vindwal. She's the one who supplied the antidote. Mm. I... I will pray for her. I do not remember there being a path mm. in this place the last time we came. The researchers must have cleared this passage. If we follow it, we should find them. Okay. was bring you to the place suggested by the tablets. I had no way of knowing. Really? 
but I did warn you. You just wanted to have it your way. Someone so foolish and thoughtless should not be supervising an expedition. How dare you? It looks like we're right on time. If we do not intervene, they're sure to gut each other. How can you call yourself a man of faith when you turn your back to the word of our founder? Me? At least I don't allow myself to believe any heresy to feed my own pride. No. You'd rather be more stubborn and obtuse than a mule. You will regret your words. You turn your back to the word of our founder. Me? Uh, hello? Hey, what's happening here? I could hear you from miles away. Your Excellency, I'm so happy to see you. You arrive right on time to settle this matter. How did you manage to find us in the middle of this swamp? Brother Fidelis managed to reach Eden. He's the one who told us where your camp was. But he didn't leave alone. What happened to Father Aubricus, who was accompanying him? He must be dead, like our other companions. This is all your fault. This is yet more proof that you are not fit to lead such a team. I should be the one in charge. Maybe you should calm down and explain to me what's happening here. This expedition was undertaken with no concern for common sense. We are not equipped to explore this type of place. Our people are disappearing, and all we have found are some falsified writings. Brother Virgil is terrified, which probably explains why he is being so disingenuous. We have made incredible discoveries, and we could find more. You are beyond redemption. I won't waste another second talking to you. If you want to talk to me, Your Excellency, it will have to be without her. How charming. Your Excellency, I hope you will forgive us for that... scene. Mm -hmm. My relations with Virgil have always been difficult, but ever since we arrived here, it has been unbearable. I'm afraid we may need an arbiter. Before anything else, I need to know what has led to this situation between you. What would you like to know? For what reason were you quarreling? The expedition itself, I'm afraid. Virgil was always against it, especially under my supervision. For him, our discoveries in Eden were sufficient. They confirmed what he wanted, the rest did not matter. According to him, we should never have continued. And when we found new tablets, it became even worse. Were they also written by Saint Matthias? Without a doubt, the handwriting is the same. There are also some patterns, some islander symbols. It's fascinating. But what really angers Virgil is the content we managed to decipher. Our founder explains that he learned a lot from the islanders, something our brother cannot accept. He now mm. persists in saying that these tablets are fake, forged by the natives themselves. Brother Fidelis told me that several members of the expedition have disappeared. Yes. That's why he left, along with Father Aubricus, to fetch some help. Three more of our colleagues are missing. And I'm not even talking about the ones who fell ill. <sighs> I must admit that I underestimated the hardships we would encounter. I made a mistake. I should have prepared this expedition more thoroughly. But Virgil's being disingenuous does not help. And no one has searched for those who are missing. I wanted us to search for them, but someone later convinced me that it presented too much of a risk. Along with lack of preparation, our constantly decreasing number, and creatures swarming the area. And by someone, I suppose you mean Brother Virgil? Indeed. I'm thankful for these pieces of information, but you understand that I will also have to talk to Brother Virgil. Of course, that's understandable. You must hear us both before you can make a decision. Brother Virgil. What do you want? Okay, Santa. Can you explain to me what caused such a quarrel? The reason for it is very simple. It is Eugenia's folly. This woman should never have been the supervisor of our team. The discoveries made in Eden were sufficient, but no. She didn't want to stop the research. She organized this expedition in a hurry, without taking elementary precautions, and now she's accepting as facts the delirious writings we discovered on these tablets without doubting them for even one second. What do you mean? We found some new tablets, allegedly written by Saint Matthias, but their content is so absurd that they were obviously forged. I am certain that the natives must have found these stones before us 
and modified their content. How would they have done that? The natives cannot write. They must have been helped by an unscrupulous settler. How would I know? Brother Fidelis told me that some of your colleagues went missing. Do you know anything about this? They did not go missing. They were killed. It was the wild beasts, the diseases, and let's not forget the savages. We can feel their presence roaming around the camp at night. I am certain that they are responsible for the death of our colleagues. That's strange. Mm. There aren't many villages around here. We've been in this region before, and the only native we met was a little insane, but would have been incapable of killing several priests. Those savages may very well have been following us since our departure. We will not be safe on this island until it is entirely converted. I see. So, you haven't tried to find your colleagues. So we can die as well. <laughs> I am not as crazy as Sister Eugenia. I cannot take sides in your quarrel for now. And, in any case, it is not what matters the most. Even if you think they are dead, we have to try finding your colleagues. Well, if you are prepared to take such a risk, I can only commend you for your bravery and wish you luck. But I would not get my hopes up. You should start by searching the excavation site. To get there, take the path south of here. But be careful. The creatures that roam the area are ruthless. Oh. This man's death was no accident. Nor was it linked to any predator attack. It was caused by a violent strike to the back of the skull with a mace, and it didn't take place here. The marks surrounding the body show that it was moved. Most likely to make it seem like he fell to his death. This man's skull is sunken, but he doesn't look like he was in a fight. Could he have fallen? If that were the case, there would be other marks of impact on his body. No. He was struck with an object to the back of the head. Given the shape of the wound, it was inflicted with a metal mace. The body of this man was devoured by beasts, but it happened after he died. One of the wounds is clearly a knife wound. But alas, it is impossible to know who was wielding it. Uh, ah, c'est juste là. The cause of death is no mystery. This man was attacked by one of those large reptiles, a Lawola. Mm. And yet, these iridescent marks on his skin make me think that a stasis spell was cast on him first. He was intentionally immobilized so that he would fall prey to this animal. It seems obvious now that these disappearances were orchestrated. Someone particularly devious has assassinated these people and disguised their deaths to take advantage of them. Who else could it be than the vehement brother Virgil? Indeed. I think that we should go find this brother and ask for an explanation. Mm. Brother Virgil. Your Excellency. Weren't you supposed to be looking for our colleagues? Indeed. I regret to say that they are indeed all dead. I knew it. What a waste. Eugenia and her recklessness are to blame for this. I'm afraid someone else is responsible for this. These deaths are not accidental, and yet they were disguised as such. The savages! Their thirst for blood is unquenchable. I knew we should never have come without an escort. You know very well that the natives have nothing to do with this. They would have had no reason to disguise their attack. Who else could it be? Someone who desperately wanted this expedition to fail. Does that remind you of anyone? Fine. You unmasked me. But know that my cause is righteous. The Ordo Luminous sent me to keep an eye on this expedition, to ensure that the discoveries we made would not jeopardize our nation or our presence on this island. But the inscriptions on the tablets are a heresy, a dangerous manipulation. Can you imagine what would happen if it was said that our founder listened to the teachings of the natives? But even then, foolish Eugenia accepted these discoveries as truth, without any hesitation, without realizing that our entire nation could suffer because of it. So yes, I wanted to scare her. 
I understand that you might want to protect your nation. But to go as far as assassinating several of your colleagues... Come now. What would you do if someone were threatening the congregation? You cannot make me believe that you would not be willing to kill. You may have already done so. But since you want to avoid using violence, help me convince Eugenia to go back to Eden. My colleagues and I know how to sort through these discoveries. And you will be rewarded. Of course. Je crois qu'on va révéler à tous ce qui s'est passé. It seems to me that all members of this expedition are concerned. They should decide on what to do next. <laughs> Everybody listen. Alas, I must inform you that I found the dead bodies of your missing colleagues. <gasps> How awful. What happened to them? Someone wanted us to believe that they were killed by some swamp animals. But it was all staged. Your colleagues were murdered, and their bodies abandoned to the creatures. What? But why do such a thing? And who murdered them? Brother Virgil confessed to his crimes in front of me. Monster! You will pay for these crimes. These people you killed were our brothers. Our friends. You stupid goose. You really believe that I will let you pass judgment on me? You shouldn't have been so quick to accept these lies that could destroy our nation. And want to reveal them for all to hear. You are solely responsible for these deaths. How dare you present yourself as the protector of our nation? Murderer! Bit of poison on my blade. <laughs> then let's go! I'm sorry, sister. Brother Virgil fled during the battle. Oh, the coward. And naturally, his accomplices fled along with him. Oh, what a waste. So many people died. Perhaps I shouldn't have revealed his crimes in front of everyone. But I thought it was the best way of ensuring he would be judged. Mm. Considering how high tensions have been these last few days, a fight was inevitable, alas. But you did what you thought was fair. Here. Take this. As a token of gratitude for shedding light on these dismal events. Alas. We will have to go back to Eden as well. There are too few of us to continue the research. Were you hoping to discover more? Of course. This place was but a single step in Saint Matthias's journey. The last tablets speak of a journey northbound, further up in the swamp. But even if Virgil is no longer a threat, we are not sufficiently well equipped to go there. We could go there for you if you wish. You just have to tell us where to look. That would be marvelous. Of course, you would have to start from the excavation site where he wrote this. I think I noticed a path going north when I was there, actually. Look for any traces of life. Perhaps you will be lucky enough to find more of his writings. That would be fantastic. Don't worry. I will conduct this research and come find you here if I uncover anything. Je vous remercie d'être venu. J'espère que vous avez passé un bon moment avec moi. Je vous dis peut-être à tout à l'heure si jamais vous revenez tout à l'heure. Et euh, voilà, prenez soin de vous. Bisous, bisous.